SGC here, Old Sport. Today's movie review is The Great Gatsby 2013 adaptation. Did you know there's been five now, including the 2013? It started all in 1926 when the book was first written in 1925. So this is directed by Baz Luhrmann and it stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Tobey Maguire, Kevin Mulligan, Joel Edgerton, and Isla Fisher and Elizabeth Debicki. So those are the major players and well Isla Fisher is not that big of a player but the others big names for this film. I mean as in like characters anyways. So the general plot line is Tony McGuire is talking about his past about how this great man Gatsby was the greatest man ever ever. Talks about how he met up with him and then he has a cousin played by Carrie Mulligan and then somehow they find out that Leonardo actually fell for Carrie or they were like together but then the war happened and then they got separated and now Leonardo is trying to get back with Carrie though she is married to Joel so there's complications and further complication is that Joel is cheating on Carrie on Isla so there is that mistress playing thing and Elizabeth is Carrie's best friend so things happen when DiCaprio finds out that Tobey Maguire is cousins with Carrie and he's like, dude, you gotta, like, hook me up with her. And then they somehow rekindle their, like, love and things happen and happen and happen. But what did I like about this film? The atmosphere and this time period I enjoy. I mean, it's coming off 1922, right after World War One. I. I mean, sure, not right after, but it's still that vibe where industrialization is happening. And there is, like, this craziness, especially those cars. Like, man, Gatsby has some crazy cars. And those crazy parties and some crazy costume designs. DiCaprio's portrayal of Gatsby was pretty good. I mean, he's so full of himself. As in, he's like, he knows he's rich, everyone respects him, and he's so mysterious in the beginning. And I was totally like, yeah, this guy is pretty cool. Tobey Maguire is the narrator, and he's just Tobey Maguire. I didn't really expect anything from him, and yeah, he didn't blow me out of the water. Didn't know, well, he didn't do worse than I expected. Karen Mulligan, I don't know, like, I don't know how I feel about her. Because when she's by herself, it's okay, but when her chemistry with DiCaprio, I don't think it's there. Like, she's she's there when she's other scenes with other people. Like, you would get why people would like her, I guess. But, I don't know, I'm not really, like, totally buying the whole, like, Oh, this is a long-lost love of the great Gatsby, and they were somehow really lovers. Like, I didn't really get a connection. Joel Edgerton, totally love his portrayal of, like, the angry mistress dude. Because, like... He's just really angry, and I really enjoyed his acting, as in like, you can't cheat, but I can cheat sort of thing, and and he's just really crazy, and he does some crazy stuff here. Elizabeth Derbeke is, I don't know, your typical, like, oh, best friend cousin, like, look at all that mysteriousness, let me show you the way sort of thing. So yeah, there really m wasn't that much for me to like beside DiCaprio's portrayal of, like, what I really like, though, is the first half of the film, um, because... The latter half, something happens, and characters are changed due to personalities, and that they are riled up about something, and that riled up stuff didn't really go well with DiCaprio, and I just didn't really dig his character's change, though the stuff all before was totally awesome, and I enjoyed it. And even, yeah, in the latter half of the film, I was just like, when is this over? Why is this taking forever? Uh, Isla Fisher here is totally just used as a name on the poster or trying to get the people in the theaters probably because she didn't really do much in this film and yeah so it was just like oh why are you listed so high on the Wikipedia cast page I wanted to enjoy this film it was because like the timeline I interest I'm interested in that timeline I'm, I'm intrigued though the whole I haven't seen Romeo and Juliet that's what uh, Baz directed before back in um, 1996 so I can't really compare. So if you actually watched Romeo and Juliet and have seen Great Gatsby, do sh tell me in the comments how you felt the two films compared. Because I would want to know a comparison. Because from what I'm hearing, Romeo and Juliet's a lot better than The Great Gatsby. Though DiCaprio's in both of the films, and I mean, they should have had some, like, you know, talks about, you know, we work together well in Romeo and Juliet, we should try to do that again in Great Gatsby. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. There's not much to say. The vibe, time period is interesting, DiCaprio's portrayal is interesting in the beginning. The story itself is more interesting in the beginning when it's all mysterious and everything. And near the end when things just are like here, except that's just like, okay, okay, sure, why not? L a bit long per se too, because it could have been shortened down a bit. And yeah, that is just it for this movie review on The Great Gatsby. That is all. See ya, old spot.